rocket science at all. Like there's, there's nothing difficult in, on a technical level of any of this stuff. Um, all the work is making like having the business people sitting there and make sure they get paid for all the installs. Um, and I think that's mainly what my boss was dealing with. Um, but the technical part is like, it's all out there on the internet. Like it's even on like Microsoft sites. This is how you create Internet Explorer add-ons. Like you, once you've got that, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and my boss was convinced that no laws were broken. And I, that's mainly because of the custom installer. Um, and I think it didn't really even hurt the, you probably lost like maybe 5% of installs by throwing it up there, which is like insignificant. Um, if it covers your ass legally, and he was very, he did not want to get, go to jail. Um, and you know what, that may have worked. Um, I'm not sure. And all you need is basically no conscience. Um, I've worked for a few internet companies and it just seems to attract, especially, well, web startups, I'll say. And it just seems to attract like the worst scumbags. They seem to think like the internet's this big get rich quick scheme. And uh, yeah, I basically have a policy of not working for web startups anymore. I've been burned too many times. And you also need people you can trust. Like, as I've said, all of this stuff is super easy to put together. Um, and once people are working and are, are doing this, they, like everyone gets the same idea at around the same time. Like, my boss is making how many millions of dollars for no effort, like why do I need him? So everyone that was working for my boss basically went off on their own and tried to do the same thing. Um, to the point where my boss only worked with family at that point um, because he knew he could trust them. Everyone else like uh, tried to go it all, out on their own. Um, so how did this all end? Um, much, yeah, and I covered this, but much like other internet companies I worked for, they basically locked their doors and stopped paying everyone once it became apparent the venture capital ran out or they just thought they'd take the money and run or whatever. Again, I don't want you to feel bad for me, but uh, that is what happened. And of course it was on payday. Like he was around every day that month except that one day for some reason. Um, and it also happens to be the time that uh, your rent is due as well. Um, so I found out after the fact that they, the company was founded at an AA meeting. Um, <laughs> That, uh, that's not really relevant, but I thought it was interesting and weird, but apparently that's what happened. And I guess probably like, you know, they, my boss fell off the wagon, that's why he uh, took off, so, but I didn't know this till after the fact. Um, so I went on to work for the person who was paying my boss and funding the whole operation. Um, again, like I was determined to, I knew what I was doing was not great, uh, but I also needed money to eat and live. So I, once I saved up enough money and gave myself some time to find a new job, I was gonna do that. Um, so this surprise kind of threw up, uh, messed up those plans. <clears throat> so yeah, I went on to work for him. He knew I was doing most of the work anyway. Software was basically done, so what did he need everyone else for? And I did that for a few months, uh, I think two and a half months, until I saved up enough money to finally get out of there and like start a real job search. Um, and I was working like about 80 hours a week because I was doing the work of about five people. Um, and I can do that for a while, but I can't do it for a few months. Uh, it was a bit of a wreck. And I like to be able to sleep at night. Um, so the fact is, like, I think all of us know we should keep our patches up to date and we, we know how to browse safely or at least we think we do. So most of this stuff is going on like grandma's computer that only has a computer she, so she can look at her grandkids' pictures on Facebook. So it's, it's a pretty scummy thing to do and you know, I never liked it but I had definitely had enough at the end. Um, and this period on my resume is listed as contract work. <laughs> which is accurate but I definitely don't get into the specifics at all. Um, so my boss was also doing other scams, and I wasn't involved on these, but I thought I'd list them out for you anyway. Um, so trying to uh, throw search en engine results, I don't know the specifics of it, but um, like certain search terms like, like asbestos lawsuits are highly valuable to search engines because the ads that are associated with them are, I think, the highest in the business. Um, so this is also known as search engine optimization. Uh, so I don't know where the legit version starts and 
and um, and they had their own search engines with paid top results, so they would get other people to pay for top links to uh, their search engine. And they were, like I saw a couple of them, and they were never websites I'd ever heard of. Um, and I'm assuming they only ever got used through uh, other malware that got installed. Um, and this other thing with news video pop-ups, where uh, apparently the most valuable pop-up to show is a video, um, so they had a specific version of software to uh, force users to watch a video a day, and that's where all the the biggest money is for advertising, I guess, at least four years ago. Um, so what can be done about spyware or malware? Um, so as long as there's money to be made, someone will try, um, even if money can't actually be made, which is kind of what we saw. Is, as long as they can get a venture capitalist person to give them money to attempt it, um, this software will exist. Um, yeah, so I don't think this is going away anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, or even if you think you can make money off people who think they can. So this is kind of where we ended up because our software didn't make any money, but we were making our money off people who thought they could. So it's very meta and like, it's basically a big pyramid scheme. As long as someone's willing to pay you to do it, um, even if it never makes a dime, um, they will try. Um, and I think blacklisting is just useless. I, you know, maybe it's a bit smarter now, but as I mentioned, if your evil software can get by the system by changing a single bit, like it's, your blacklist will always be out of date. There's always be around, ways around it. Um, so you're basically you have a list of software that you don't want your computer to run um, and it will always be behind. The attacker will always have the advantage. Um, so I think whitelisting is the future, or at least should be. Um, I've seen whitelisting, so it's basically rather than you can't run these programs, it's you can only run these programs and any other executable that gets on the system um, is basically denied access of anything. Um, and I think these can be made consumer friendly. Um, I've seen some enterprise versions of the software and it works quite well. It's not perfect, but at least I know if I got a bad piece of software on, on my machine, I can go to a list and see, like, oh, it's that one and I can remove it and it's no longer a problem. Um, and as for why whitelisting software is not, like, out there nearly as much as antivirus or malware protection, even though I see it as vastly more significant, uh, effective, um, I guess you just can't make money selling virus signature updates with it. Um, so I imagine at some point this will be baked into Windows or something like that. It almost has to be. Because um, it doesn't make sense for all this software to not be polymorphic. And it's like I could do it, so anyone can do it. Uh, so it's only a matter of time before all this stuff is. And then blacklisting gets you nowhere. Um, so what did I learn? Um, creating spyware is not hard. Um, I did it. I had no specific security background. Um, just vague ideas what I thought it should do and I made it do it. Um, it wasn't rocket science in the least. Um, and you can easily make a lot of money on the internet if you've got no scruples. It's kind of depressing. Um, so yeah, the software will be here always. Um, AV and uh, malware protection seems almost useless. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong or maybe it's smarter than I think it is, but I'm, I wasn't... It was shockingly easy to get around it. Um, this software is not going away. And again, back to people thinking they can make money on it. It's just kind of depressing, like, as much of this stuff gums up our machines and all the spam we get to think that it's all for nothing. Like, like not even a single person at the other end is benefiting from it monetarily, like <laughs> slightly depressing. And this is kind of the note I want to end on. Um, it's not worth compromising your ethics for money. Um, I did it because I was broke. I knew it was wrong. I did it anyway. I don't know, maybe I should ask my parents for money or something, but you know, it's, it's just not worth it. So stay away from these scumbags because they'll rip you off in the end anyway. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, your, your honor is worth more. Um, and that's basically it. Um, I'll be in the question uh, room at the end of the hallway, so if you have any questions or want more technical details, because I was pretty light on that, I'm 
more than willing to, to be there for an hour. 